I have this mini Tesla coil here and I am going to attach it to the top of my guitar and then run my guitar through it. So the noise comes from the coil and it looks like there's lightning coming out of my guitar because it's cool. I got this thing off AliExpress and boy is that site something. I won't get into the specifics of this, but I uh, do know that this works by pulsing electricity through this needle which then arcs out the top of it. You can change both the frequency and the power of the arcs at the top using these potentiometers on the front. And all of that can give off a cool lightning effect. I mean, it's, it's not an effect, it is real electricity, but it won't kill you. But there's also a music mode, which means you can plug in an aux cord or use Bluetooth, which is kind of a weird feature. And then the music, the noise like comes from the electricity on top. It's hard to explain, but you'll see in a sec. So we need to figure out how to run a guitar signal through this Tesla coil. And I think it's actually going to be pretty easy, but you know, famous last words. First thing is first though, we have to see what this can actually do. This is scary. I don't know if the camera picked that up. So uh, that footage I got before, you know, when I was all scared, uh, was horrible. And it doesn't really show what this is doing. So it's going to show you here. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks, China. This Tesla coil is awesome. Now that we know that this thing actually works, we uh, need to figure out what kind of music we can run through this because the booklet just came in the box. It says that normal music doesn't work, I guess, but it, uh, it came with a QR code for a bunch of music that is supposed to work. So let's see what that does. Okay, so um, it's got all these you know, probably perfectly legally licensed music on here. You know, like the Super Mario song. So I guess we should just listen to some of these and see what they sound like. So it's square wave music. That's what this is called, right? Whatever it is, it's 8-bit. That's actually kind of cool. Alright. So now, I have this Spider V20 amplifier, and we need to figure out how to get it to make a sound like that square wave music. It comes with some built-in effects, so maybe this won't be super hard. I um, I actually found a post on Reddit about doing something like this, and it said that all we really need is some fuzz and distortion. So I guess we can just do that and play on the high strings. All right, um, now everybody gets to see how bad I am playing guitar. You know what, I'm gonna play around with this off camera, and then yeah, I'll just come back when I have the best. I'm back. I figured it out, I think. Yeah, I uh, I got the amp to sound good enough, I think. What did I do here? I gave it a very small bit of reverb. I turned the, um, just the gain high. Made it a little bass-ish. I don't know. I don't know a lot about this, but whatever I did, it worked. 
Oh, come on, don't break now. Oh, wait, the volume. I'll try and play some, like, actual riffs once we get this thing attached. So now we need to find a way to mount the Tesla coil going to unplug on top of the guitar. The way I see it, I could either try and make something nice that works or go the typical Maxwell James route and just cover the problem in duct tape or hot glue. I, um, I did the duct tape thing. I put painter's tape down so it doesn't ruin the guitar, don't worry. But I, I just do this so you guys can take my concept and build something a lot cooler, you know? All right, cool, let's do this. Hey, it's the next day and my second time recording this testing because the first time I did it, yesterday, I got everything in the frame except the Tesla coil, almost perfectly, like cut off right there. So I'm just gonna film this again in widescreen and do a digital zoom so that doesn't happen again. So let's give this another shot. Oh, and for continuity's sake, There we go. It's like nothing's changed. All right, we're good there, we're good there. Give this a shot. Oh, yep. Got a super cool guitar here. Where do I start? I'm bad at guitar, by the way. Uh, that's a riff from a band called Rat King's Ghost. Very underrated. Go check them out if you have any music taste similar to me. I'll link uh, the Rat King Ghost Spotify down below, so. That was awesome. Sorry if you got clickbaited by the title lightning guitar. It's probably more clickable than plasma or Tesla guitar, and you know, gotta do what I gotta do. Well, my theory from the beginning of the video was correct. That was very cool. And um, on another note, my next project is probably gonna be a pretty big one. So, you know, uh, subscribe, stick around for that one. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna be held together by duct tape, maybe. But it is gonna be a cool big project if it comes out on time, which it might not. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe and uh, follow me, you know, do all the things you guys know. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.